which certifications should you pursue to get your DevOps job? Hey, what's up? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers. And in this channel, I talk about all things DevOps from landing your first DevOps job to fully implementing DevOps across your organization. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about which certifications are worth pursuing to get you a DevOps job. So when it comes to certifications, there are a ton to choose from. And what you want to look for when you're picking a certification is choose one from a reputable company, someone who's a leader in the industry and someone who has skills relevant to the DevOps job that you want. By that, I specifically mean like if you want to do DevOps in a company that's using AWS, go pursue the AWS DevOps path or if you really like the Google Cloud implementation and that's where you want to build your career, go down the Google certification path. Now, the exact certification that you need to pursue for one of those kind of depends on where you're at in your current skills. If you already have a really solid foundation in Linux and networking and storage and file systems and things like that, you probably don't need to focus on that and you can focus on some of the other areas of DevOps where you don't have expertise or you can focus on like an all encompassing DevOps architect certification that builds on your existing skills. But if you don't have those existing skills, start your path by getting the skills that you need. One way you can do that is looking at my playlist of the skills that you need to land a DevOps job. And you can come away from that with a to do list of things that you need to work on. Now, here's the big thing for me about certifications. Certifications are a credibility indicator, not a competence indicator. And by that, I mean, whenever I look at a candidate, I don't look at a specific certification and go, oh, they have this certification. They can clearly do this because that's not necessarily true. You know, the fact that you have the certification doesn't mean you have the exact skill set that I need for this project. And the same goes true for any employer because DevOps, there's so many different ways to implement DevOps and it's unique to every organization. There's not one certification that says that you can do that in any scenario. That doesn't mean a certification is worthless. And that's why I say it's a credibility indicator because to me, if you have a certification, it doesn't mean that you have the skills I need. What it does mean is that you have the patience, the aptitude, the maturity, and like the dedication to sit through a long, arduous process of getting your certification and sticking with that task until the end. So which certification? Pick the one that's in the environment you want to work in. If you don't have a preference, lean towards AWS because they are the most prominent in organizations that are running on the cloud. Focus on the fundamental skills first that build your DevOps skills and then go for the DevOps certifications on top of that. Hope that was helpful. Leave me comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video.